Hey, welcome to episode three of Poetry from a Prius. This past Sunday, Kobe Bryant, his daughter, were two of the nine people that lost their lives in the helicopter crash. I was not one of his fans. I'm not saying he was a bad person. From what I can tell and all accounts, he was a very good man. Nor can I say he was a very poor basketball player because he was definitely one of the greats. It just that I'm a Knicks, a Celtics, a Jazz, and even a Golden States fan before I'm a Lakers fan. So I can't be rooting for anyone that is a Laker, no matter how great a person or how great of a basketball person they are or were. Although one thing that caught my attention was J Jimmy Fallon's tribute made the star of his show yesterday, Monday the 27th, January 2020. Jimmy told the story when Kobe was a rookie and Jimmy was just starting in comedy. They met at a party. Kobe and Jimmy didn't know anyone else and they got together. Kobe told Jimmy that he was interested in poetry and played basketball. And he told him in that order. So, to pay tribute to Kobe, I'm going to read his poem, Dear Basketball. There is an Oscar uh, award-winning animated short that you can see online, but here I'm here am I I'm gonna read it to you. Dear Basketball by Kobe Bryant. From the moment I started rolling my dad's tube socks and shooting imaginary game-winning shots in the great western form, I knew one thing was real. I fell in love with you. I love you so deep, I gave you my all. From my mind and body to my spirit and soul. As a six-year-old boy, deeply in love with you, I never saw the end of the tunnel. I only saw myself running out of one. And so I ran. I ran up and down every court. After every loose ball for you, you asked for my hustle. I gave you my heart. Because it came with so much more. I played through the sweat and the hurt. Not because challenge called me. But because you called me. I did everything for you. Because that's what you do. When someone makes you feel as alive as you've made me feel. You gave a six-year-old boy his Laker dream. And I'll always love you for it. But I can't love you obsessively much longer. This season is all I have left to give. My heart can take the pounding. My mind can handle the grind. But my, but my body knows it's time to say goodbye. And that's okay. I'm ready to let you go. I want you to know now so we both can savor every moment so we, we have left together. The good and the bad we have given each other all that we have and we both know no matter what I do next I always be that kid with the rolled up socks garbage can in the corner five seconds on the clock ball in my hand five four three two one love you always Kobe Kobe, you'll be missed. My prayers go out to your family that they might find comfort and joy knowing that, that you were part of their lives.